Hello, my delicious devil. I welcome to my page. I'm page about common sense. I try to keep it down and they do under 10 minutes. And it goes over 10 minutes. Something very, very, very important. Why am I whispering? This is real quiet at the airport I'm at right now in Brussels. And I got an important message to make sure you guys understand that I'm not Joe Average, man. I'm not Joe Peter Pan. So I hope I don't have to wait six hours. I hope I don't have to be riding on this plane for six hours to go into Banjo Gambia. But I think it's going to be shorter than that because it's much closer distance than uh, traveling from you know, Washington, D.C. to Brussels. I had to travel over the Atlantic Ocean and shit. But let me tell you an important message. I think I already put it out there already. Um, before you travel to any country, make sure you get your paperwork, go on that site and see if any requirements the interior you check your interior area to see if you um you basically need to fill out some form some forms tracking you okay and after you get that form done you have to do the pcr there's two types of pcrs it's a 30 72 hour one and what's better which you may have to pay for which is 30 minutes um is, is that shit was like 200 something dollars and i was like uh, they, 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 job, they they robbing the hell out of anybody man they know goddamn well it's not that, 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 that expensive. Come on now. You get it for free in America. You just get the PCR in three days. But you got to be careful. Make sure you tell them when they get you to do your PCR to post date it on like 4 p.m. Three days. Okay. 72 hours. Because they're real strict on the time. That's what they told me. All right. So be sure to check out for your COVID thing way in advance. Do not play around. They will stop you in your tracks and then you quarantine you and you be stuck in a motherfucking other country because you just didn't want to listen nowhere. Okay. But as I said before, I'm going to the game here just to sightsee, see what's going on, see if my first wife is going to be okay with my mental men, mental psychosis. And of course, um, and, and go on from there. You'll see her. I'm going to post it on the YouTube. Okay. And post it on the Rumble, okay? Let's show you around uh, the Gambian area, okay? Banjo. I didn't, I didn't really... I, the only thing I know about like the Gambia is that there's a thief, okay? And he stole all the money, okay? <laughs> That's what a friend told me. <laughs> he stole all the money and the country's poor because it, this president stole the money or something. It's, he's a fugitive now. He's on the run, okay, with the money. The crook, okay? <laughs> well, other than that... I don't really get too much into detail. I'm just, I'm just going there just to have fun, show her around and stuff. And she showed me around. Okay, I got stuff for her and some gifts and stuff in the bag and some volleyball stuff, you know. But um, these 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 um jet engines are huge. Look at this. You see that thing right there? Isn't it scary? The last time I was on the plane was like five to six years ago. Okay. And it was always like a kind of a scary takeoff or and landing. It was in the air. You feel butterflies sometimes because you want you want to crash and burn, right? <laughs> I'm thinking that the engine will blow up. Okay, and then we start tumbling. I'll be like smiling and happy because the death is coming soon, and I'm gonna get eaten by whales and dolphins. <sighs> but anyway, I'm almost there. I gotta wait like four hours on a layover. Just a layover here in Brussels. Hope they don't give me a hard time because I got all the paperwork that's necessary. But other than that, as I said before, I told you, I'm, you know, real alphas have videos. And, and let me tell you something else. You guys, you know, stop talking about when you travel, you think you alpha. No, you ain't no alpha. Stop talking like that. Alphas don't deal with monogamous relationships. You should know that. Y'all guys don't. Y'all forgot about that? How many times I tell you all the time? Most of these guys on the internet is not alphas. I might throw me really as alpha on the internet right now. <laughs> I've got to keep my cool. I'm not trying to boast. Okay, but I know a lot of simps are out there. Okay, I keep telling you guys, alphas don't do with non-virgins and they do not do monogamy relationships. Okay, their standards are too goddamn high. They they actually get paid from women. So I don't know where this where I'm coming from. Men get paid by the women. Okay, I don't know where this terminologies and these guys is up to booty cracks of all these females and then they consider themselves alphas. I mean, <laughs> no, you're not an alpha dog. <laughs> Most people haven't been raised by alphas. Did you know that? That's a fact. 80%. That's why society's fucked up as the way it is. Okay? 
<laughs> but you know what? You got equal rights now. Knowing goddamn well nobody reads the Bible no more. Nobody's into religion no more, baby. Okay? They use that as a crutch, a mask. Okay? I tell people all the time, I try to point out something, they say, oh no, that does, that's not what it means. I say, motherfucker, that's what that motherfucker means right there. <sighs> but I guess I'm going to have to post this later. Because I don't think the internet is fast enough for me to post it on Facebook or on YouTube. But, well, each his own. Let's go look around. Let's see? Yep, this is Brussels here. I'm at the T terminal. Love y'all, but I hate the many of you. I love the animals more than humans, but I don't fuck the animals because I'm not Joe Harris, man. I'm not Joe Peter, man. Peace.